we first moved here in 1970, um, I used to walk her to school. We would walk from here to Holyrood, which is about 11 to 12 blocks. She uh, participated in the Grant High School um, Rose Festival Court. She was also a JV rally cheerleader. She would ask me questions about her math homework, so I'd help her with that. And sometimes I would be doing my homework. And so she would kind of say, Alan, I need your help. I need your help on this. You know, so I, so I, I said, okay, okay, come on over here. So I'd help her out. Karen being mentally ill, she can't be responsible in terms of making logical choices for everything in her life. She needs support. She needs care. She needed a lot of help. It's not just getting her home. It's the complexities of care. You have to be a nurse, you have to be a social worker, you have to manage the paranoia, and then there, you know, <sighs> your, your own sanity, you know. Your own sanity. I mean, every which way we tried to turn, Nobody could help us. I don't know what families are supposed to do. I just, I don't know what they're supposed to do. When it's up to the person that's not rational to make the decisions when they can't. Where does it, where does it end? I mean, how many more people have to go through this? And then to be evicted, it's impossible. Just recently, I think she called Alan on his phone a couple times. Her voice on the phone seemed questioning or away. She seemed away. She said that uh, she wanted to get together for Christmas. She always liked doing that. I didn't know where she was calling from. Yeah, I just didn't know. It was. I just think about her out there all by herself. Just these people out here, no place to go, mental illness. I don't know what to be done. Just left wondering. Just left wondering.